राधा शिव सरंभा व्यास शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मताचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओं शिवाय गुरव नम ओं श्री अरुणाचलेवर शिव श्री गुरदक्षिणाूर्त नम अण्बे शिव अण्बे शिव अण्बे शिव अण्बे शिव शिवोह 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 Amma's most beloved sweet children, welcome all of you. Uh, we are going to start our rudram. First two prayer slokas already we will discuss. One sloka means for the nirakara parabrahma, apa atala nabasthalanta bhavanam. Second sloka is the sakara parabrahma. There were so many rudras are all pervading everywhere. God is oneness only. This is the gist of sanatana dharma. So why there is so many forms? Why this ideal puja? This is still the ignorant questions. So don't ask like this. This was according to the levels of the people mind. People need some focus on particular things. For that reason, if you have a temple, people will go there. Okay, what they have to do there in the temple? Just only some construction there. Nothing there. They what they have to do. Everybody is not the Vyasa Maharshi and Vasista Maharshi mental level, no. So some children are there, some people are there. They have not that. So according to their mental status, there was a murti. They installed that murti. That murti was releasing unbelievable power. Unbelievable power. Go to the websites and see. Lot of westerners did the researches. on the hindu temples in india how much is the power in the temples how much people are relaxed in the temples without any mental pressures going to the temple innumerable scientific ways they gave lot of reasonings for that you have to go and check all those things so that's why people are going to the temple but in the same sanatan dharma mentioned according to the high matured people देहो देवालय जीवो देवो सनातन द जीवी इन सैड इज सनातन एटनर देहो देवालय वी नीड नॉट गो टू द सेकेंड लाइन आलसो वी गाट द जस्ट इयर इट सेल्फ सो सिमिलरली ओम नमस्ते रुद्र मनव उतोत इशवे नम ओ रुद्र ऐम डूइंग नमस्कार फॉर युवर एंग आनस What is this? Mahadev have anger on us. What is this question? O Rudra, our salutations to you, countless, countless salutation to you for your anger on us. Uta, Uta means end. This A N D end. Uta means end. Ishave, for your uh, arrows, our. our namaskaras to our arrows and sudhanvane for your dhanas bow our salutations to your bow bahubhyam for your bahus our salutations to your hastas and bahus tava dhanvane bahubhyam tava dhanvane for your hands and shoulders our namaskara so why we are doing the namaskara to the hands and the bows and the arrows and anger and what is this what is the meaning of here everything the gist of rudram comes here itself children we have to go to this first mantra little bit little more explanation then we are easily understand what is mahadev it is so hard to understand the mahadev without tapas and without spiritual background it's not a story of somebody to read and understand no it is the story of the supreme consciousness who is all pervading all knowing the absolute truth so it is not that much easy to understand we will try with our ignorant mind we will try to understand at least little bit of the the literature meanings word to word om namaste rudra manyava mutoata ishave namaha 
namaste namaste word comes from rudram actually what is namaste where this word comes actually this word comes from veda veda namaste word is veda namaste rudra manyava butota ishave namaha beautiful no namaste if somebody call you on the phone um so immediately you say hello okay they says hello how are you uh, okay tell tell that is not okay immediately you have instead of the hello you have to say namaste beautiful no what is namaste because vedam gave this word to us what is namaste this word is bharat means namaskaram bharat means namaskaram the country bharat is always doing namaste beautiful no very beautiful suppose namaste must not do with one hand namaskar must not do with one hand namaskara have to be do with the both hands that is so powerful for the reason what is this namaha namaha means humbleness and completely obedient lot of obedience is there lot of politeness is there piousness is there all the combinations of the piousness uh, obedience uh, humbleness innumerable things are there in nam- namaha namaste so namaha means we are bending who is going to bend in this world children people never bend no is people are going to bend never no children never people never going to bend but here namaha means bend when we are going to bend regularly we don't like to bend in front of anybody so here a human being is that much easily he never bend in front of anyone when he is going to bend if he get a major accident for the backbone maybe he is going to bend down at that time regularly he don't like to bend in front of regularly other people there are two things are there one is we are worshiping some and the worshiper the disciple is there maybe a guru is there we are worshiping that guru when the disciple know the greatest value of the guru greatness of that guru the power of that guru the purity of that guru the sacred life of the guru is divine consciousness he was so bent in front of guru because my guru is so this much great this is the greatest now greatness of my guru when he got that thought now immediately without his knowledge he is going to bend down in front of the guru you got it now if the guru is so pure in life inside he was so such a divine soul a beautiful heart a compassionate one a kindness one he is all knowing he is supreme truth he was absolutely did so much sadhana in his life and then he want to uplift the disciple towards his consciousness level so when he know about all the information about the guru ji then oh my worship to my guru automatically without your knowledge people will bend down like anything very very bend down in front of them so that's why this is the bending down is nothing but the ayness ahankara is bend down in front of the guru ji o oh, guru ji suppose the vyasadeva is there there some disciples come in front of the vyasadeva jay mini samanta phaila all of these disciples comes to the vyasadeva they bend so much because vyasadeva did he compel all the vedas and he was so greatly he he gave bhagavatam mahabharatam all the things for the mankind so such a great man uh, so we have to respect the guru ji they they bend so much in front of that vyasadeva so similarly children if we know the the greatness of the parameshwara mahadev 
Mahadev was so great, unbelievably great. He was a great tapasvi. All the time Mahadev was in tapas. When this creation started, that time onwards the Supreme Almighty was doing tapas. Nobody is never going to beat him in the tapas. How much Rishis did tapas also? Mahadev is the greatest Maharshi among all the Maharshis. In one of the Ved- Vedic mantra, they are praising Mahadev as a Maharshi, was a great Maharshi. And Yogeshwara, Uchi Yogeshwara, there were so many Yogis there. He is a Yogeshwara among all the Yogis. And not only just Yogeshwara, Yoga Yogeshwara, Maha Yoga Yogeshwara. Beautiful. Maha Yoga Yogeshwara, Yoga Samratu. Maha Yoga Samrajyam, there was a, uh, he was the emperor for the yoga. Very beautiful, no? So that's why he was the emperor for silence, he was the emperor for spirituality. Everything comes from the Supreme Brahman only, Parabrahman only. Very beautiful, no? So that's why here the Parameshwara, when we know the, the significance of Parameshwara, how much is myself in front of the Parameshwara? So, how much is myself in front of Parameshwara? I am very insignificant in front of Parameshwara. So, that's that the thought comes. Then we get the humbleness, humble behavior in front of God. And we are so humble in front of Bhagavan. Namaste, Namaha. What is this? Little words, no? When we understand this little word, it completely inner transformation comes in our life. We need the children very, very, very badly. The transformation must be important. If we never change, if still those demonic thoughts are inside, you know, we are not spiritual at all. All the pollutions, everything you have to go away from the body and mind. All the passions and desires and all those ignorant portions have to go away from the human life. Then we are okay. So this Namra Bhavam, this Namra Bhavam is melted our Ahankara, it melted our Mamakara. Ahankara, Mamakara melted with the Namskara. Beautiful. Ahankara is the uh, ego problem. Mamakara means all our likes and dislikes and so many bondages. Everything was completely melted in the very high heat of the Namaskara. We bend. We bend like anything. All of you are used to do this now beautifully. Whenever we have the Chandi Homa, a Chandi Homa time, all of you uh, did the Sashtanga Namaskara. Boys did the Sashtanga Namaskara. Uh, girls did the Panchanga Namaskara. Panchanga Namaskara. What is this now? In front of the Supreme Almighty, Homa time, where is God at that time? The Divine Mother was in the form of the fire, in the form of the mantra sound vibrations and in the form of your heart. And in your heart, what you are doing, your salutations to the Divine Mother, the Sashtanga Namaskara for the boys and the Panchanga Namaskara for the girls. Beautiful. So this is the body language completely molded. Sanatan Dharma molded our body language in such a beautiful way. All my children are very humble children. How they are walking, no? They are walking on their toes only. Just on the toes, they are going, running like a deer, no? Spotted deer, very quietly, bending so much. And it was amazing to see the humbleness of the people. Beautiful. Already, what I am speaking, I am seeing all of you all these years. I am speaking about that to only children. So much. So that's why Mahadev is very great. Beyond greatness. We cannot explain about the greatness of Mahadev. He is all knowing. He is encompassing love. That Mahadev is the most greatest thing among the entire creation. For the divine supreme personality of the Godhead. We just bow down our heart in front of the Mahadev and then our Ahankara and our Mamakara both are melted in the Namaskara. Ahankara is our ego, our desires, our passions, 
likes and dislikes and this and that and so many things are there. Our eight, all kinds of our eight enemies are in the Ahankara and the Mamakara, so many bondages towards this world and we are not able to come out from the network of the bondages by doing the Namaskara to the Supreme Almighty, all the karma load will be destroyed and we learn the body language of the so much humbleness. The humbleness, when we have the humbleness in our heart, when we bend our heart in front of the Supreme Almighty, automatically we are not a harmful person to the society. That bending nature is never going to give harm to the society. If we never bend in front of God also, we just walk like this with our head weight and so we have to learn. It will take time for us. Maybe today we are not ready. The day will come in our life. Some problems comes definitely we are going to bend down. If problems are not there, we never bend children. Because of the problems, we are bending and bending and bending. Problems make us to bend. But without problems also, we have to bend in front of the Supreme Almighty. Because, O oh Almighty, you are the Absolute. You are knowing everything. You are absolutely powerful. So that's why we are so insignificant in front of you. So our portion is zero. We don't need anything. Our thoughts, our mind and everything is innocent in thinking all those things. A very limited mind and limited personalities. You are unlimited, boundless. Unconditional is your compassion and your love. So that's why I am doing the namaskara. You have to take all our, melt all our ahankara and also our mamakara with this namaskara. What is namaskara? We offer our mind to Mahadev feet is Namaskara. When we do the Namaskara like this, no? we offer our mind to the Mahadev. Beautiful, no? We offer our mind to the Mahadev feet. Very beautiful. Once we do the Namaskara to the Mahadev feet, what we did children? When we do the Namaskara to the Mahadev feet, what we did? I offer my mind to Mahadev. Okay, beautiful. I gave already my mind to Mahadev. So what I have with me in my hand? I have nothing in my hand. I offer myself already to Mahadev. Oh Mahadev, I have nothing in my hand right now. I belong to yourself. This is what the disciple completely, totally surrender. Total surrender. Saranagata Dinartha Paritrana Parayani. 100% you are totally surrendered. All your three natures also already surrendered in this Namaskara. Tridhalam, Trigunakaram, Trinetranja, Triayusham, Trijanma Papa Samharam, Yeka Bilvam Shivarpanam, Trishakai Bilva Patrascham, Achidraihi Komalai Shubaihim, Tava Pujam Karishyami. Yeka Bilvam Sivarpanam Darsanam Bilva Vrukshasya Sparsanam Papa Nasanam Aghora Papa Samharam Yeka Bilvam Sivarpanam Beautiful, you know what we are offering? Everything I offer myself to you. I have nothing right now in my hand to offer to you. So my responsibility is right now yours only. You have to take care of me. So whatever the problems, I need not worry about the problems or anything also. I just offer myself to you through the Namaskara. Namaskara means I am offering my mind to your lotus feet. If my mind offered to your feet, already I gave to yourself. I have nothing in my hand right now. My responsibility is yours only. You have to take care of all the challenges. If it is a challenge I really need, Okay, I will face that. You want to teach some lesson to that pain? I definitely face that. If you want to give me some peace of mind, I definitely face that. If you want to give me some commotion, definitely you want to give some lesson for me, I will learn that lesson. So I accept everything as a prasadam from the Mahadev. So children, when we see in the creation, the sun, the moon, the stars and galaxies, Milky Ways, and her Milky Ways, all the things, the waters, Mother Earth, the creation, the nature, what all the animals, birds, human race, 
everything is made with one material only with one material what is that one material shivam auspicious that is auspicious brahma padartham i think all of you know something about the puri jagannath puri jagannath Uh, so one of our ancestors was in puri jagannath the ancient time we heard some stories from them puri jagannath stories lot of stories they spoke about the puri jagannath what i heard from them my grandmother and people are speaking and sitting there now every 12 years in the puri jagannath one day comes the old murtis are taken new murtis are installed the time they completely black out the entire city complete nobody must not use the power or anything and uh, military came with the guns and everything around the temple they are around the temple with the protection all the military people and then only the priest one priest have go have been to the inside of the temple in the inside of the temple he is eyes are completely closed with some cloth they tie the cloth to his eyes like gandhari type and then he was going into the temple he hands have gloves in his hands this was happened some hundreds and thousands of years onwards from the old murti puri jagannath krishna bhagwan they take something brahma padartham from the murti and installed into the same brahma padartham into the new murti they take off the brahma padartham from the old murti and they installed this brahma padartham into the new murti how is the brahma padartham he never see how is the brahma padartham nobody never witness that they close their eyes completely it was dark only and then by the touch what he says the brahma padartham is like a it is so soft very soft like a heart beat type no lub dub lub dub no it was like that it was like a moving like a rabbit type how the rabbit want to go away from the hands it was like that only the brahma padartham was so soft my the hands it was so soft and then we never see anything with our eyes but it was we felt very soft and it was vibrating like a heart beat it want to go away like a rabbit from the hands like that only but it called the brahma padartham from the brahma padartham from one murti to then installed into the other murti similarly in this creation the sun moon stars galaxies everything all the creation mother earth everything made with one material what is that material the brahma padartham the brahma padartham the auspicious shivam the auspicious one so that's why the name for that auspicious one is the shivam that's only one name for that auspicious one shivam the brahma padartham so the sun is made with that brahma padartham water is made with the brahma padartham mother earth is made with that brahma padartham our human bodies and good people bad people trees and creation plants birds flowers gems and oils and what all the things we are witnessing in the world everything made with one brahma padartham that brahma padartham is called shivam auspicious thing that is the brahma padartham very beautiful you know so that is the puri jagannath story every day they have to climb all the way towards the puri jagannath swami temple on the top of the temple they have to change the flag if they never change that flag 18 years later they have to close the temple 18 years for that reason one priest every day he climbed the temple and uh, it was amazing things there in the puri jagannath puri jagannath we have the puri jagannath swami puja in our home jagannath swami nayanapada gami murtis balabhadra subhadra devi Every day we did the puja, offering the milk, prasadam, sweet pangal and the suddhannam, things like that to Balabhadra, Subhadra, um, Puri Jagannath, Krishna Swam Bhagavan. It was so beautiful. To attain the Brahma Jnana, you have to come out from these limited thoughts and you have to 
expand your heart more expansion you need all the time sitting in the limited boundaries and then this is only the greatest thing and i know everything we don't know anything if you go to the footsteps of the sanata dharma take you elevation towards the highest consciousness level to attain the glory of the truth and we enjoy the absolute truth for example there is a fruit when the fruit fell down from the tree completely then there is a seed from that that seed is again going to germinate some years no body is never going to be sustained permanently this is not permanent at all we know that very well 100% but the self in this body is never going to die that truth will revealed from the sanatan dharma it never going to die how the fruit and the seed comes and again it comes back like a small sapling similarly the soul is again going to come back and born again until to realize the supreme self in this life so that is the goal of the supreme self amas beloved still children namaste rudra manyava utota ishave namaha today we discuss the point of the namaste namaste gives us the namra bhava namra bhava means the polite bhava polite feeling and the humble feeling and uh, how to be more pious and more bending heart and then we we have to learn this that nature of the polite behavior so it bend we bend in front of the supreme par brahman mahadev because of the we know the value of the mahadev the power of the mahadev for that reason we bend 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 like anything in front of the supreme self in that bending we are bending our ahankara and also we are bending our mamakaram also in this namaskara amma special love for all of you once again from the bottom of my heart thank you om स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य पिपालयता मगेण महिमहिषा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्त निोकान समस्ता सुखिनो लोकान समस्ता सुखिनो लोकान समस्ता सुखिनो स्वस्ति